Hello viewers, welcome to your channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session we are going to discuss about health promotion and education in school. So specifically we will be talking about why health promotion is being required these days and what is the importance of having health education at the school level. This topic has been taken from B-Farm 6 semester unit 5 of the subject pharmaceutical quality assurance. So if you have still not subscribed to my channel Pharmacypedia, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting further updates and important content related to pharmacy. So let us begin. When we talk about the health promotion, let us first try to understand what do we mean by the health. So nowadays you can understand health is very important. Health is very important for individual, for children. So why? In previous time, we used to take care of our health when we were falling ill. But this is not the concept being followed at the global level. Nowadays, health is being perceived as an individual responsibility in the sense that one has to be conscious enough, one has to be preventive in the approach to avoid the progression of any disease. So health promotion concept is directed towards the action on the determinants or the causes of the health promotion. Therefore, it requires a close cooperation of sectors beyond health services, reflecting the diversity of the conditions which influences the health. So government at the both local as well as the national level has a unique responsibility to act appropriately and in a timely manner to ensure that the total environment, which is beyond the control of individual and group is conducive to the health. So my dear students, you can understand nowadays health is a preventive concept. If you take care of your health, that becomes individual care. But when we talk about at the society level also, sometimes the things are out of control. For example, in the case of the pollution. So we collectively have to take the measures. The government has to uh, make the strategies to control the pollution to, pro to protect the health of the people living in a specific area. So health promotion simply means taking care of the health in a manner that one divides themselves from the disease. So simple aim is to help the nation build a bright and the healthy generation which is equipped to make healthy choices and plans to maintain a healthy population in the future. Now let us try to understand the health promotion. So in talking as per the definition, it simply says that the process of enabling the people to increase control over and improve their health. So we just want to make the efforts and make the people aware and enable them to take more control of their health in a better way so that disease progression does not happen, disease are not being developed frequently. So the one approach is to build up the immunity, to exercise regularly, to have a healthy diet, to have a balanced diet. So if we take these measures on long-term basis and we understand the, um, the uh, having good cleanliness and the hygiene, we can remain free away from the disease. So today health promotion is more than personal and population education. And therefore it is defined in a number of ways. So health education and when it gets in combination with the healthy public policy, it becomes a part of the promotion. Talking about the philosophy, so health promotion is any combination of the health education, economic, political, spiritual or organizational initiatives which are being designed to bring about positive attitudinal, behavioral, social or environmental changes. And these changes are conducive to improve the health of the population. So through the involvement of the home along with the school education and the community, we can actually have a better physical, intellectual, emotional, social and moral development. Nowadays, my dear students, you must have seen health is a, just not a physical well-being. It is social, mental, physical, emotional development of an individual. We are looking towards several approaches like psychosocial development. So human being a social animal, human beings are social animals. So one has to have that sort of the emotional development, emo social development so that the overall development can take place. Talking about the definition, definition further says that it empowers the people to increase the control and to build up their immunity to improve their health. So more or less it is a 
पॉजिटिव कंसेप्ट एंड स्पेशली एम्फोसाइजिंग द पर्सनल सोशल पॉलिटिकल एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल रिसोर्सेस एज वेल एज द फिजिकल कैपेसिटीज so when we try to understand the health promotion we need to understand what are the various activities by which we can have the health promotion that can be easily done through the health education and the awareness programs then having the preventive health services primary secondary tertiary health services then community based works organization development then healthy public policies environmental health measures economic and regulatory activities so these are the various framework by following which we can have the health promotion in the society on regular basis talking further it incorporates an involvement of several activities like physical activities walking for the health having a healthy diet or stopping smoking alcoholism having good mental health having good sexual health having good community development and healthy schools and healthy trainers talking further we should understand that the choice in the health promotion is individual level for example restricting the reuse of the alcohol and drugs for the improvement of the health building team awareness having more family con connection through more social life healthy eatings managing stress because stress is in everybody's life so we have to understand and uh, devise the ways of addressing the health issues stress and health issues time and presence is again very important matter talking about the principles on which the health promotion is being based so there are basically five principles of health promotion which are being determined by the who world health organization so these are like health promotion involves a population as a whole so we have to consider that it is not a single effort it is the whole population efforts in their everyday life rather than focusing people at risk of specific disease so it simply says that we should not consider the health issues for the specific disease people but we have to take the population as a whole then second health promotion is directed towards the action of the causes determinants or the causes of health so we have to first understand what are the various causes of the death and then require is close cooperation of sectors beyond health services reflecting the diversity of conditions which influences the health then talking further about the health promotion it combines diverse but complementary methods or approaches including the communications education legislation fiscal measures organizational change community change community development and spontaneous local activities against the health hazards for the health promotion particularly aims for effective and concrete public participation this requires the development of problem solving and decision making life skills both individually and collectively and promotion of effective participation mechanisms then health promotion is also primarily a societal and political venture and simply not a medical device so although health professionals have an important role in advocating and enabling health promotions so what are the main approaches to health promotion basically there are five factors which uh, or approaches you can say for the health promotion the first is the medical or the preventative approach second is the behavioral change or you can say lifestyle changes then third is the educational programs which are being health education at the school level awareness and um, empowerment then societal changes social changes so now you can understand that by having these changes by promoting awareness health through the education through schools through lifestyle changes through individual perceptions and being positive one can make a lot of change at the social and societal level not next talking about the school health education so it is a a plan sequential curriculum which should be taught in every grade and addresses the and physical mental social and spiritual development of an individual so a quality curriculum basically allows the student to have a development and have a sophistication in health related knowledge attitudes skills and practices and at the same time addressing several topics including the personal health family health community health consumer health and environment health
so these topics should be discussed with the kids so that they can learn better also the pupil lifestyle should be like inculcation of correct health concepts and behavioral patterns so the ultimate objective is to enable the child to make the best possible choice for his or her optimum health and total well-being this can be done uh, an improvement at the school level and the family environment the, to enhance the role of the child in conveying health messages to the co community and giving adequate support to such national health programs as the country may be launching time to time so talking the national level school health programs so it is basically devised for the prevention of the preventive promotive and curative health services to the population so they, these types of the programs are running successfully in several states like tamil nadu kerala gujarat and west bengal so it is in the spirit of the flexibility of the centers national rural health mission and other where the needs and the availability options for service service are being provided so the school health programs have literally benefited 20 crore students all over india talking for further about the different components and the activities being taken care at the school health program for example screening of the general health assessments skin conditions detection basic medication kits to be provided to take care of common ailments referral cards for priority services at the district and sub district hospitals immunization schedules being followed on the fixed days micronutrient assessment management deficiencies of iron folate tablets can be overcome by taking these tablets deworming activities being taken twice a year then health promoting activities being taken in the schools for example counseling services or like mental well being and the regular practice of yoga physical education and health education so several activities have been followed in different states specifically in kerala arogyam kerala activity is being done which is a part of the uh, venture of the departments of health education sports council and local self government so the benefits of the school health program has been extended extensively to 9.5 lakh students both from the government and the aided sectors so my dear students the, these components of the health education works in a long way in the development of the clinical services have preventive services and the counseling which has benefited a lot many students so laying down such as strategies and laying down such activities at the school level promotes the uh, good health development for the individual child and the documentation of health related activities and filing of the health records so in conclusion we can say that health education is basically a significant addition to the curriculum of the schools therefore because health is a source of major concern the existence of the health problem can easily be disrupted by following the opportunities for learning in the sense that it can disrupt the classroom attendance and overall state of the mind therefore increasing awareness among the students that body can reduce the risk of educational disruptions the development of attitudes at a young age can increase some probability that behaviors will be altered and a more balanced lifestyle is being developed thank you so much for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to my channel pharmacy pdf for getting important contents related to pharmacy thank you so much everyone